Evening, old fellas. Now, what I've got to say, I feel dead far away. I think my chair slipped back a wee bit. Hold on, it has. Yeah, that's better. Um, quick beer review. Paul is here, Brown. It's a Saz Pilsner. So, Saz helps in this one. Literally, a bubble standard Pilsner. Let's see how clean they can make it, kind of thing. Um, now, anybody who's been following me for some time, I, I've done Pilsners to the death. I wasn't an ambition to get it down pat. And pretty much, no, yeah, I think I have. Put it this way, I've stopped experimenting, I've stopped in one recipe and that's the recipe I've stuck on. Um, which added a wee bit of rice, surprisingly, to it, and I like it. That's the main thing. Um, and mine is a, like a mixture of Saz and Soriachi Ace. Now, Paul has done a Saz Pilsner and he's done a Soriachi Ace Pilsner, and really, from having a Soriachi Pilsner, I'd maybe be inclined to do a wee bit of that myself because it's a dangerous hop to get as a single hop, you know, a smash beer, because it can overtake fast and be like lemon drops, not nice. Um, so let's see how this one is. Typical kind of size florally, kind of, kind of mountain flower kind of thing, heather. Dry, really dry here actually. That's nice. Dry is good, makes you want to go back for more. But sweetness there all the way through it actually. It's a uh, it's not back end sweetness, it's kind of like a nice even kind of sweetness all the way through it. Obviously the size is low, size is about 3.2 bit to 3.8 percent I think these days. Um, well from what I've been getting. So you need an awful lot of hops to better that up. A wee bit more body than what I think. Now, this has cast my mind back. Sorry, this is just off the top of the head. I done a malt test there. Was that last year? Year before? Um, with the same recipe with my Pilsners. And there's quite a big difference. And I think the body difference in this, because everything that, you know, is very clean, it's very crisp, very dry. Everything about a Pilsner you would want, but I've got a funny feeling. The base malt, it's not a criticism. Um, the base malt is different from one one. So I'm drinking this going, Pilsner, I know Pilsner, I made Pilsner, that's creepy. You know, so I'm, I'm making judgment based on what I do, which is maybe slightly unfair because it's down to, you know, the different ingredients that you use. Has it certainly cleaner than mine? Um, mine has got a cleaner first taste, but the sweetness is on the back. This one is more even all over, which is probably better brown, to be honest. Um, but it's got more body, and I think the body, if my memory serves me right, like, comes down to the base mill. And if I was to make a real well guess, I would say the base malt in it. It's either Castle or it's the the Irish one. I don't think it's the Wehrman's. It might, it might be the Wehrman's Pilsner malt, not Bohemian Pilsner malt. The Bohemian Pilsner malt is super, super, super clean. 
Um, it's like it's the lightest shit you've ever came across. Um, I wonder if that's the difference. Other than that, I can't actually give a discernible difference to what I brew and not blow him on trumpet. However, and Rogerson gave it a 11 out of 10. Honest to God, it really did. Um, he removed the video thereafter. I don't know why he done that. Um, I don't know. You know what I'm like. Uh, <laughs> um, that's a nice beer, Paul. Really, really nice. It's nice whenever you, you know, you're doing something you're of your own. You've got down pat, and somebody else gives you one, and you know he's a good brewer. And you're going, yeah. Which way will I bring this? I'll be honest with you. With that, for the first time ever, Paul, I'll actually say. I know my own isn't brewed as well, as in it's not as balanced. My own is lighter. However, your sorry actually Pilsner, I prefer. I kind of in between, so I've got this one here as my third. Your sorry actually Pilsner is my first, and my Pilsner sits in here. <laughs> um, ah. Home brewers, we are never, ever, 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 ever happy, are we? Um, nice beer. I can't, com you know, put it this way. If you're to go out and pick up Budweiser, or if you're to go out and pick up, uh, God for either Miller or anything like that, you know, this is going to knock its socks clean off. In fact, I even bought a craft beer recently. Um, Big Harry K? No. Ooh, can't remember the name of it. You know, I bought one that's not as good as this. Yeah, yeah. every single one of Paul's beers was great. And I've got another couple over there to try, but I'm maturing them. Yep. Can't complain about that. Yeah, no. Absolutely fantastic beer. I'm guessing, Paul, put it in the comments below. I am guessing it is not Wehrman's malt in it. Yeah. I'll put, I'll put my neck in the line. Let me be slaughtered. Wait until you see. It probably beckon will be. Everything else is perfect. I think it's a base malt. Too heavy. I'm going to get it wrong, aren't I? <laughs> Cheers, boys.